right, everyone. <laughs> I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Uh, I was gonna rest a little bit, see if I was gonna go use the bathroom or something, but uh, kids are out here. I don't like being around kids anymore. Ugh. Looks like they're getting ready. They're power washing everything. Um, the clubhouse on the outside and uh, things are warming up. I mean, it's uh, looks like they're working on the parking lot here. Looks like they will open. They will open. Um, so Texas, the biggest state to lift COVID-19 mandates. And let me tell you, although I'm, although I'm concerned, So although I'm concerned, um, I'm happy. I'm happy because uh, I think it's up to the individual. Because if you want, if you want to protect yourself, you know, go ahead and wear your mask. No one's going to stop you. There's no law against wearing a mask. I've been wearing it before the uh, pandemic. Although this is not going to protect me or anybody. What I'm wearing. So, but it's, it's up to you. It's up to you, okay? It's not up to the, not up to the state to dictate your life. And uh, I, even if it was, I don't, I don't know if the state, the government, the government, federal government, state government in America can do what they can do, all right? They can assist. But they cannot dictate your life. It just it's just not feasible. It doesn't work. That's something that the USSR, Russia, tried a long time ago. You notice that the USSR is not doesn't exist anymore. So and and uh, you know anyways, so mandates are over. I don't now, I, I always wear a mask, but uh, I didn't see anybody. I, no, they were wearing masks, but they weren't wearing them. They had their masks, but they weren't wearing them. At the playground, kids were playing around. Kids didn't have a mask on. Uh, parents, they probably had the mask, but they didn't wear their mask. And so uh, everyone's happy. And you know what? If, if everyone's happy, then so be it. I'm going to be a little cautious. I'm going to take a wait-and-see approach. I don't want to be a guinea pig for anybody. So, that's what I have to say. That's what I have to say. All right. Whew. going to enjoy this ride. I'm going to enjoy this ride. I guess you all can do whatever you want, but watch the video, give it a, a like, thumbs up, comment. I asked my daughter and my wife if they're gonna like make everyone go back to school. Uh, they haven't received any email. Uh, they may, if they do give an option, my kids wanna go online, they like online. It makes me think like, you know, could you do online school? I think it could be possible. I think this uh, COVID pandemic experience, this lockdown experience, uh, may be a trend into online school. I think it is. My kids seem to like it. Their grades are not going down. They don't seem to be doing worse. I think it's because we're at home too, so we get to, we're, we're basically, we're teaching our kids and they're spending, you know, five or four hours online with, with the school teachers just 
doing things, but we're, we're teaching, or my wife is, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Although if I see something wrong, I'll, I'll say it. So yeah, so online school may be uh, a trend if the parents can stay at home and work, and working at home may be a, a trend as well. It's doable as possible. I would even say it's very cost effective. There's no limitation on the internet bandwidth other than what the the uh, cable companies or internet providers put restrictions on on you. There really is no limitation on the bandwidth. Really, there isn't. Uh, as of right now, anyway, it's just the restrictions that the uh, internet providers or cable companies put on your line. So, but the question is, you know, will the parents allow that? Because there's a lot of parents out there who see school as free daycare or, or uh, socialized daycare. You know, these people are whacked in the heads. They think school is a socialized daycare for them, a free daycare for them. Other people pay into it. They just pay a little bit and they get free daycare. No, that's not what it is. Not what it is. But people, but there's actually parents who think that way, which is amazing. So, whew. probably by the time I get to the crosswalk, I'll do my hyperlapse time shift, whatever you want to call it. you get to this point right here which it narrows <laughs> a little windy today anyways I'm, I'm happy so if they do online school I'm okay with it I'm at home my wife's at home working so it's not a big deal for me Really not a big deal for me. Am I gonna catch up to that truck that passed me? Probably. Irony. Oh, he's gonna make a right turn. Ugh. Yeah, my my back pain, my coccidinia doesn't seem to hurt as much when I ride him when I'm riding on the bike, so. It's just weird. So I, I don't know what the what the real cause of all that is. I, I just I don't. I have no idea. I can only assume it's something I did, or maybe from riding on the bike, but not directly from the direct cause is not from the bike itself. The direct cause is not from the bike itself. So I just, uh, I don't know, old age, a lot of things, a lot of things. Life, uh, life is great, you know, but sometimes life sucks. You know, getting old sucks. You're not what you are at your prime as you remember yourself and it's uh, disheartening to, to see that. But, uh, you know, I'll try, to, I'll try to go out in grace. Anyways, uh, let's do some uh, time lapse here, all right?
all right when i made it back oh that was that was a pretty good ride i enjoyed that it's a nice sunny day uh, there's there's the bike oh docked it i don't know if you can see the docking the uh oh geez what an angle anyways uh the wheel choke comes in very very handy please like share comment ride your bike get some exercise Bye.